What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gino here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the news roundup for January 2021. Now I'm only going to be glossing over a lot of this because a lot of this is basically new product photos for products we've already seen from before. Starting off with the Masquerade Gin being an April 2021 release for 4730 yen. So here it is, the Masquerade Gin, all of its glory, looking like it is pretty de detailed for a grunt with awesome looking weapons and of course you do have a pretty detailed looking inner frame that provides decent amounts of articulation into the backpack itself alongside the rest of the inner frame that looks okay but it doesn't seem like the chest and the torso is going to have any inner frame whatsoever i have to put my phone on silent later on and then of course we, we have the um, manipulator parts the missile pods you do have the gigantic sword which I really love to steal the design of this one because for grunts, this thing has a remarkable looking weapon. And of course, here we do have the machine gun with separate clips that you can actually switch onto the machine gun itself. So this is looking to be a pretty good master grade for a grunt. Next up, here we have the dagger L. This grunt, by the way, does not look really too remarkable. I'm not going to be picking this up. Despite it being an April 2021 release for 1,320 yen, it's pretty cheap for what it is, but this thing is basically reusing the strike frame from what I can say. And of course, it, the only remarkable thing is that it is going to be reusing the striker pack mechanic. But if I were to pick this up, I would be working towards making this thing into a G stream, a mass production version of the Extreme Gundam. So yeah, this thing over here doesn't really tr strike my interest way too much. Of course, it does use the striker pack system and you do have a dinky looking beam rifle, a pretty bland looking shield and of course the generic beam sabers so you can pick this thing up if you want to build a strike army of your own if you do not like the Wyndham because they do share the exact same things apart from the accessories the pack and the look next up here we have the uh, Wukong Gundam it's gonna be April 2021 release for 660 yen of course we have all the effect parts all of the parts to you need to convert Wukong into the gigantic monkey form and of course you have the intermediary form which basically is kind of like Jojo summoning the spirit and all that kind of good stuff and of course you have the default form it's going to be a pain to paint because of all the gold parts it's kind of nice to see the full layout of the effect parts over here and of course well not effect parts necessarily but all the clear parts that are included in this kit Next up, here we have the Nobunaga Gundam Epion. So, of course, this thing is also going to be an April release for 770 yen because it's a little bit more heavy duty, so there is going to be more parts. But I really do like the battle mask, and I really do like this kind of a buster story that kind of resembles the ahead from the uh, Gundam 00 movie. Well, the movie in the movie. So, you get, you guys know what I mean. It's just basically a gigantic curved plank that you use as a buster sword. And of course, the rest of these we've seen before looking pretty good with that katana and of course here we do have a preview of part separation so we can see that the gold parts are also going to include the separations for the maroon part so you do need to paint in the maroon on the gold parts it goes to show how bad the color separation of these things will be but it's kind of expected it's an sd but if you want to perfect this thing and any of the other kits from these exact same line you're gonna have a whale of a time and of course you have the accessory layouts, we have the sheath, we have the uh, katana, and of course we have the buster sword over here. Next up we do have the Sargon Vert Buster Gundam, which I did say kind of looks like a merge of the blue duel and Vert Buster because of the color scheme. But of course it does look pretty good, of course with a lot of gold detail, so it's going to be pretty damn hard to perfect this thing right out of the box. But I really do like the pistol that it comes with, it looks kind of like something from GTA. But of course, you can detach the front skirts and use these parts as nunchucks, I think. I'm not really too sure what these are. Can't really read this, but I really do like the gun. Really does look like something from GTA, doesn't it? So this is also going to be an April 2021 release for 660 yen. The Trinity bike is not included, so you have to pick that up separately. Next up, here we have the um, Benjamin V2 Gundam. So yeah, Vin Benjamin Victory 2. The only remarkable thing of this thing is that it does come with curved manipulators for the left and the right hand for you to hold the flintlock pistols in a more natural position. But other than that, this thing is just a pirate with well, with the Victory 2 gun and dressed up as a pirate, which does look very, very nice, but obviously expects the worst of color separation. Of course, it does come with a mask piece that was shown off over here. It kind of looks like the uh, Metal Robot Damashi Gundam Vidar, but don't know what that serves as other than an eye patch. Of course, you do have a gigantic hook, you do have the flintlock pistols, and you of course, you do have the Zamber, so, or the Cutlass, as I like to call it. 
yeah, it does. It does kind of say Zamba, right? I, as far as I can tell, but I, I'm not sure. I don't read Japanese. Next up here, we have the Edward Second Victory Gundam. Now, this I can slow down a little bit because we do not have any information prior to this post. So, of course, we do have the gigantic cannon. We do have a scope for the eye as an eye patch. And, of course, here we do have the gigantic cutlass, which does look pretty nice. Here it is without any of the special flashy equipment with just a cutlass, which is pretty nice. And, of course, here it is in a standard form. It kind of looks like an Indian for, for some reason, but... I don't know. It's just the hairstyle that's the problem. This thing does share a lot of the tropes as the Victory 2 Gundam over here. So, yeah, you're, you're gonna expend a whale of a time painting all of these things in. Of course, it does come with the angle manipulators as per the second Victory Gundam. Not the second Victory, the Victory 2 Gundam. So, you guys will not need to worry about posing the accessories unnaturally. Next up, here we have the Sasuke Delta Gundam. It is going to be a June 2021 release for 660 yen. So, yeah, this, I never really expected this thing to be the Delta series. People have been telling me this looks like the GAT series, especially the Blitz Gundam. But I wasn't really too sure. I was completely off when I say that this thing looks like the Denial Gundam. But I'm glad. Finally, we have the true identity of this Gundam right here. It's Sasuke is going to be coming from the Japanese area, which is basically, I think, the area that Nobunaga comes from. Of course, here we do have the accessory layouts. We do have the gigantic katana. And of course, here we have a uh, kitsune kind of mask. Don't, I don't think you're going to be able to put this on the face, but it is what it is. It hangs off from the side of the head, which looks a little bit awkward to me, but you can easily omit that. Next up, here we have the uh, War Horse. That is going to be a June 2021 release for 550 yen. So the Nobunaga Gundam is not included over here, but we only get the horse. So it does the light is only going to come in these orange pieces. So if you want different color trim, kind of like a Trinity bike, you will have to do your own painting. Does the light has opening pieces for you to reveal a peg to plug someone's ass onto the horse. And of course, it does kind of come with adapters to incorporate the Nobunaga Gundam's armor. And I think this is a direct plug onto an action base. Can't really tell. But yeah, it looks as though only the front legs are going to be articulate. The back legs are going to be just static as far as I can see. So I don't know. You, you can maybe pick this up and use it as a display piece. It's at least better than Fu and Psyche, I might I have to say, because it does have articulation. Next up, here we have the Xi Gundam. It's obviously an April 2021 release, we knew that already, for 6,600 yen. This is going to be an expensive piece. Of course, we've already seen a lot of these piece pictures before, but we have a full display of the mobile suit mode, and of course, we have the flight mode, the Minovsky craft. And of course, with these we've all seen before, it's just the same old Xi Gundam. And of course, here we have some photos displaying the transformation into the flight mode. And of course, the... Um, Shield connection is a little bit remarkable because it is a ball joint connecting from the connector into the arm. So hopefully the um, the Kasi Gundam shield is going to be using a 3mm peg as a track over here. But I doubt it because it's probably going to be using a custom piece, let's be frank. But it is definitely a good way to connect the shield onto this really awkwardly shaped arm. And of course you do have a cover to cover up the hole if you do not want it to just be out in an open. Like, I don't know the crotch plugs of old next up of course we do have some images of the contents of the twin pack so of course you do have the C gundam and of course the penelope and in there we do have two sets if i can find the loadout the f two sets of these five parts you do have two sets of funnel muscles only the shade is different between the penelopes and the Xs. so yeah you need to keep your eyes peeled and of course you do have two sets of skeletons to connect the ff parts onto the gundams and of course you do have two action bases included in this kit so the reason why it's so expensive considering well maybe the gundams are only going to be worth 800 hong kong dollars is because of the ff parts and of course the uh the action base so yeah it's pretty worth it if i may say so myself but i will have to purchase it myself to be sure a lot of you guys voted for me to actually review the twin set so i must get my tape measure out to measure whether or not i'm going to be put, able to put the beast together next up here we have some 30 minute missions stuff this is going to be the spinatio sengoku type and I have to say, I love the design of this thing. This thing really got me hooked immediately when I saw this. Because on the surface with the armor on, it kind of looks like the Valkyra frames. It kind of looks like an idea of what Galahorn would do with a samurai type Valkyra frame. But also the naked form, 
does kind of look like a ripoff of a core gun them kind of like a core gun with the gm head just because they're so slim but of course in this set we do have all of the stuff you need to combine the armor onto the spinatio to make the spinatio sengoku type i really do love that and of course you can interchange the armor pieces and of course appendages with other 30 minute mission kits to make custom builds of your own which is pretty nice and I don't know what this is about, but please tell me in the comments below if you can read Japanese. To go along with the Spinatio, we have the Spinatio Option Parts Set 4. Zengoku, Zengoku Armor, yeah. Okay, so this form over here I really do like because it does give the Spinatio twin eyes with kind of like a beetle helmet. But I'm not really too big of a fan of the extendable armor over here. I think it just looks kind of tacky. I'd rather keep the normal armor on there. But of course, this one over here, it does have the gigantic dragon gauntlet, which I'm really a fan of. And, but I'm not really too big of a fan of the helmet just because it kind of looks more like a farmer more than anything. So this I'm going to be shoving off to the side in place of the beetle helmet right here. But of course I'm going to be using the dragon gauntlet on it. But it's all up to you guys. It's all up to your own ideas for what you really want for your build. This merely provides us more options for the upcoming Spinatio. Definitely going to be reviewing this alongside the main, mo the main model itself. Next up we have... P Bandai releases. P Bandai releases of the Re100 Vegina Gina 2 Jupiter Battle specifications. Now, I don't know if this is one of the few mobile suits that were taken to Jupiter to fight the Jupiter Empire, but I'm not really too sure. Maybe this is going to be the same case as the F92 I type Jupiter sp Battle specifications. I don't know. It does come with the same lance, but also it does come with the. Um, Kind of like a beam ring, which kind of looks like, reminds me a lot of the Kapakali, to be honest with you guys. So, yeah, this is basically just the Vagina Gina 2 with a different accessories. So, if you are interested in the Vagina Gina 2, you should definitely consider picking this one up. Next up, we do have a box art image for the Gemini Unit 2. I don't know what Bandai's knack for colored boxes for the G unit kits are, but of course, here we have another fake out because. A colored box art for a P Bandai kit. To go along with that, we do have the Gemini Unit 2 Land Warfare Heavy Unit expansion parts. That's going to be a May 2021 release for 2200 yen. It's a pretty expensive box set for what is basically an expansion pack. Because with this price, with this amount of money, I can basically go ahead and buy another high grade. So I don't know. And of course, it is color coded to the Gemini Unit 2. So yeah, I'm not really too sure if I'm going to be picking this up, but I'm definitely interested in looking into the expansion packs. I'm not really too big of a fan of the flight pack and the um, and a whatever whatever the packs were that were released, but I'm definitely ex interested in looking into this. Of course, if I do pick it up, I'm going to be painting it first back into the Unit 1 color just so you guys can get an idea of what it would look like on the Unit 1. So, yeah, it may be a little bit expensive, but I'm definitely intrigued. Last but not least, we do have a rather mundane finish because this is a premium Bandai real grade Tall Geese 3 titanium finish. You will definitely want to pick this up if you really like titanium finishes and that you are a fan of the Tall Geese 3 and you missed out on the original real grade. Yeah, this thing does look pretty nice, but to be honest with you guys, if I'm ever going to be picking this up, I'm going to pick up the the uh, regular version of the real grade Tall Geese 3. So that's going to wrap it up for news roundup of January 2021, tell me in the comments below what you think about this batch. Of course, a lot of it is basically old news, but new product images may change your perspective of how you look into one of the many kits that are revealed today. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more Gunpla reviews, Gunpla news, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to the featured channels on my channel page if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.